Good day. So in this, uh, in the previous section, we had a look at uh, g getting uh, geometry into NX Motion application. Um, if everything was perfect in terms of the uh, the assembly structure. So in this case, you can see that there are two bodies right here. But if I go to the assembly navigator, you can see there's only one component. Okay. So in this section, I'm specifically going to focus on uh, creating links manually um, if if this modeling approach was chosen okay so this section actually the the most important part of this section is uh, looking at at links uh, how links are created and and edited so again we're going into from our modeling appli application again denoted by the top here uh, we're going into the motion application okay Again, I'm not going to save changes in my my case. I'm going to say I need a new simulation. Um, in this case, I'm just going to leave component-based simulation off. It's not necessary because there are, there are, there, there's not multiple components. It's just multiple bodies in this case. So I'm going to say OK. And this leaves us with this. So as you can see at the top, there's a setup. And we can select link. So this will help us to create a link. And now this asks, uh, asks us uh, which objects uh, need, need to be placed as part of this link. So I can select that one. But what's also important to notice is you can select multiple bodies for a link. In this case, I'm not going to select multiple bodies. The reason for that is I actually want these bodies connected differently. And there's, there's going to be a joint right there. So I'm just going to create one, one object. If you go into here, into the mass inertia, at this, in this case, or at this stage rather, it's it's still all of them are zero, but the mass properties are set to automatic. So if I go OK, and as you can see, we've added a link. So we've got this link drop down right here. I can just double click this link again. And if I go into mass inertia, you can see that these values are now filled out. Uh, what's important to know is that you can also go and manually edit these values. So in, instead of that I can make it uh, 1.5 1 1 kilograms and I can say okay so the reason it allows you to do that is in many instances it's not necessary to have the, the complex final design geometry uh, in your in your motion model so you can place a block there uh, and if it's uh, center of mass and mass value and all of these inertia values are correct then it will behave like it is that uh, the complex geometry. So I'm going to say OK here. Yeah. And so now we've created this first link. Now we can create our second link. I can select that object. I can select OK. And our link is created. OK. The next part is just to add the joint. And again, so in this case, I'm going to have to add the joint between both of these. So it's the revolute joint. I'll select this as my main link. Um, then I'll select my origin again from this drop down center. I select that center right there. The vector, I'm going to select this face again. So it infers the, the normal vector of that face. And then I'll select. So my first link is that one. Second link, or my base link rather, is this link. And I can set, select OK. And you can see that this joint is not grounded. So it means that the joint is between both of these. Again, for context on uh, where we are, uh, this this is already uh, past the point uh, in our in our lecture or in our in our series of of uh, videos that we have already created a motion. This is just going into creating manual links and joints. Uh, so again, we can have a look at this uh, adding a joint here between this link and the ground. So I'm going to go to joint. And I'm going to select this link. I'm going to select the origin as there. I'm going to select a vector, this face. I'm not adding a base link because the base link will be the ground. And there you can see that that is indeed the case. So again, I can go to, I can right click my motion. And right clicking the motion will allow me to create a new solution. So here you can see again at the bottom here we've got new solution. If I select new solution, I can specify end time that this this is the end time of the simulation. 
uh, steps 500 so we're sampling at 100 hertz here I can specify um, the solution name and here I can specify the direction and magnitude of gravity so I'll say OK because the gravity was in the correct direction and I can say solve and now we'll get a pop-up of the of how the solution is created so here you can see uh, how the solution, well, the current progress, well, uh, this it's, it's done 100%, so we can just close this dialog again, we can select results, and then play, and there you've got some, some motion right there. And this then concludes this section on